Bureau reporter Samantha Jo Roth joins us now live. So how is a former VP trying to distinguish himself in Florida, the nation's largest swing state? Well, Tammy, after making his bid official on social media, the 76-year-old immediately began targeting the Latino vote, something that other candidates have not done from the start. Solo tengo tres palabras más. Joe Biden. Presidente. Joe Biden is already courting the growing Latino vote, a crucial demographic that exceeds 16 percent in the Sunshine State. Whoever the Democratic nominee is going to be is going to have to uh, try to focus on that to maximize turnout in order to try to win the state. The former VP, already a household name and frontrunner in recent polls, faces an uphill battle as he attempts to convince the same diverse and youthful coalition that elected former President Obama that he's the right guy for the job. Those challenges on display play in the Sunshine State, where Biden has secured former Obama State Director Steve Shale as a senior advisor, but not the support of his top fundraiser, who is backing California Senator Kamala Harris. Biden has never been a dynamite fundraiser. Uh, I think it's also reasonable to question whether he can get the sort of online small dollar donations that have fueled a lot of recent Democratic uh, candidacies. Statewide Democrats were narrowly defeated in the 2018 midterms here, but election watcher Kyle Condick said as Biden is a candidate who could appeal to undecided voters. I think for Democrats looking at the 2020 electoral map, they could feasibly look at a state like Florida and say, hey, if we go in Florida, we'd probably be in pretty decent shape to win this election. Now, Florida's primary is not until March 17th, two weeks after Super Tuesday, but candidates are already making visits to the state, like Senators Amy Klobuchar and Kamala Harris. We're live on Capitol Hill this evening. Samantha Jaroth, Spectrum News 13.